Clark. And it's in the back of the net. It's Grant Holt with his seventh goal of the season. And Rochdale have taken the lead. It's a great cross from J.D. Clark. And Grant Holt obliged with his seventh goal for the season. Scored last week at Macclesfield. Dodson. It's found to the way to Conte. Oh, and it's taken down there by Burgess. I think he's the last man. Daryl Burgess, maybe. Showing a red card here. It'll be the second time he has done this season. And Daryl Burgess has said it early, but and I don't think there'll be too many complaints this time. Can they find another year? It's another good one. What? And it Tino's in. Here's Jones. Oh, over the bar. Good chance there for Rochdale. You would have thought Tino would have finished the first one. Here's Tudor to Easter. Easter with a shot, and it's a good save from Matthew Jones. It's Conte for Cambridge. It's a goal. Cambridge have equalised. It's Amanda Conte with a superb strike to the left-hand side of Matthew Jules. Tam. Evans wins it back for Rochdale. Bettino. Can Cooksey win this one? He does. Good well there, Cooksey. Turns. Crosses in. Bettino. Oh, Bettino. A free header at the far post, and I think he should have done better there. The unknown striker from Walsall. He had all the goal to play at. Is it a good all? He's got plenty of space on that left hand side. Good all. To Bertos. Bertos with a shot. It's in the post. Unlucky there, Bertos. Take the woodwork there, Bertos. Could have put Rochdale in the lead. Both teams going for this. Here's Bertos. And Bertos goes past the man. Keeps the ball in. Bertos. Lovely expedition football. Here's Jones. Crosses in. Oh, it's there. No, off the score. Second goal of the game. And it's the eighth goal of the season from Grant Holt. And he may have to stick this one. Grant Holt, the Superman, has nicked this one. Cooksey has it. That was a nasty tackle on Cooksey. He's gone down. And it's a straight red. And he's turning nasty on Scotland. Steve, it's been 47 games since Rochdale last won consecutive home games at Spotland. This result surely puts some daylight between you and the bottom two. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, we, we, we talked long and hard this week about the game and how important it was and the, the gap in points which we could be developed today if we won between us and Cambridge. And, uh, you know, thankfully we managed it. It was a very tough game, very physical game. Uh, lots of incident, uh, two super goals and, and I think, you know, really we deserve to win at the end of the day. It was a workman's performance from your side. Who impressed him off today? It would be wrong to single anybody out. Obviously, Grant Holt is he's on fire at the moment. He's got 10 goals now, and he's he's a very, very workmanlike player. He was, he was getting goals as well, and I think all of them were, you know, stood up to be counted. Eight goals for the season so far. You must be pleased with your start. Yeah, I'm very pleased with uh, my start at, uh, at the football club and I'm scoring goals and seeing that things are going well for us. It was a workman's performance this afternoon. What kind of things is the gaffer saying at half time? Um, you just say go out there and uh, play yourself well, put your foot in, and. Uh, you'll get your rewards and at the end of the day we've got the rewards. Are you pleased with the 4-3-3 formation Parkins using at the moment? Um, I'm pleased with whatever uh, formation the manager plays, as long as I'm playing it then that, that doesn't bother me, you can play 4-5-1, 4-3-3, 4-3, I don't care, as long as I'm playing it. Wayne, 500 not out, do you feel your tackle on Jermaine Easter was a turning point in today's game? 
Well, no, I, w well, I wouldn't say that's my job to defend anyway, so I was, it was just uh, lucky I got there at my age anyway to get back anyway, so it was OK. It's been a career that started at Welspool and over 200 games for Walsall. What's been the most memorable game out of the 500? Uh, I'd probably have to say when I uh, was at Walsall, we played at Old Trafford, so that was the most memorable for me anyway, because I'm a Man United supporter as well. Who would you say has been the most impressive player you've played alongside? Oh, God, now you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> I'll just say, I say there's quite a few, let's put it that way. And manager? Don't forget the gaffers. <laughs> the gaffer isn't too bad. So yeah, uh, the gaffer's done very well. Also, when I was at uh, Warsaw, there was Chris Nickel and uh, Ray Graydon. So there's been a few impressive ones anyway. And do you still feel there's life in the old dog yet? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I've got to keep playing a few more games, and then hopefully I can get a contract.